Well, thank you for inviting me. Uh, but after following three evangelistic speakers, you're going to have to put up with a northern, uh, you know, Harvard guy who's going to talk to you a little bit about uh, how exercise uh, affects the brain. Now, we've known since the Greeks that, the, that both the body and the brain together that are necessary. So we have to work on the body, and we, we have to see it as, as a part of the curriculum. Why is exercise so important to us? We really evolved to be movers. But guess what? Now we've, our culture <laughs> has jumped, right? Our culture has just evolved so quickly, so quickly and so fast. And in, especially in the last 40 years, it's changed enormously. We have these cyber slaves, I call them, because they do everything for us. This is the problem of our obesity crisis today. Both that were driven to that high uh, caloric food and were sitting. And boy, are we sitting. The top 10 killers in the United States, okay, are really lifestyle diseases, either caused directly by our lifestyle or fed. Even the cancers now, we know, can be prevented by lifestyle changes, many of them, and certainly helped along the way. Uh, you know, the articles are coming out all the time now. That's one of the most important things in cancer treatment is getting people to move and stay moving. Uh, who would have thought that? One of the things we know is that being overweight, being obese, then having diabetes really makes the process of cognitive decline go rapidly, very, very rapid. There are lots of studies that have come out in the past 15 years showing that exercise prevents what we call cognitive decline. If you are middle-aged and you haven't been exercising three to four times a week or any time, you begin four times a week for 40 minutes at moderate intensity. The studies show that you will prevent the onset of cognitive decline by 10 to 15 years. If you have a morbidly obese child at the age of four and compare him to his normal weight SIB, they're going to have, their IQ is going to be 30 points less. And he's a medical geneticist, so they did every genetic test under the sun, ruled out any kind of complication. So he said that the reason why these kids had their IQ less is because of being morbidly obese. Exciting stuff has just come out. This is not published yet, but I have the paper. The, and this is looking at the brains of children who are fit and non-fit. And they basically saw, see in, in their study, in, in about 50 kids, half fit, half unfit, uh, the, those kids that were fit, they had the areas of their brain that were bigger, than those that were unfit. I mean, an area of the brain that's really important for learning and memory is called the hippocampus, very sensitive. That's where we grow new brain cells. Well, the fit kids, their hippocampi were bigger. They, they were bigger. And guess what? Their memory scores were much better than the unfit kids. And you all have now have a chance with the, getting the measures and seeing what you can improve those scores uh, and, and improve the health of our kids. And at the same time, you're not taking away from their ability to learn and perform. We know this. We know it. It's a fact. It's not something that somebody made up. So it's, it's a way to help the students do better on their whatever tests, whatever state you're in. Doesn't matter. It works. So thank you very much.